Okay, I'm um, giving our praise and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakadash. Double honor to the L's of GMS, salutation, side of Akim out there that's switching this truth. Also, Shalom to the rest of the hopeful elect. And uh, try to make this short, but I doubt if it be short. All right, but I think I'm going to title this, uh, Be Not Offended. Blessed is he that is not offended or ashamed, all right? Because when you go into the scriptures, there's certain things in the scriptures, all right? Like, perfect example, the uh, whole rape thing, all right? What they say, the uh, rape doctrine, all right? A lot of these guys, a lot of these camps are afraid to uh, teach it, all right? They think, they think uh, uh, they might lose their congregation, all right? But also uh, lose money. A lot of them, they're just afraid of losing money, all right? Or, or losing losing their, their following, man. Which, hey, look, man, we didn't come in here to... Um, uh, uh, um, to become prophets that are uh, profit, you know, off the uh, off our congregation, you know. Now, did you post the tithe and do those things? Yeah, man. All right, but also, hell, how you gonna want somebody to tithe and you ain't even teaching the truth? You might as well be a damn uh, uh, Christian pastor, man. You know, that's something that a Christian pastor pastor would 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 do, you know give give you uh uh give you lies all right but what but expect money or 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 expect you to uh follow them you know but let's start off with matthew uh matthew 11 and 4 it says and yahweh shai answered and said unto them go and show john again those things which ye do hear and see and to the blind so like it says right it says the blind uh, like it. Go and show in John. Go and show John again the things which ye which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, and the leopards are cleansed, and the deaf hear. All right, and that's talking about what people receiving receiving the gospel, but also those was real miracles that was that was that was happening too. All right, so it's talking about them doing miracles, but also. Uh, uh, waking up those those people, all right, who the gospel was uh meant for, all right. It says, uh, and the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. It says, uh, blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Now let's check out that word offended real quick, right? It says, uh, to put a stumbling block. Right, matter of fact, and give the word first. It says uh the Greek word uh scandalizo, right? Which uh I guess is where you get the word scandal from or uh or a uh, scandalous, you know. It says uh back to definition num number one, it says to so put a stumbling block or a or impediment in the way. It says upon which another may trip or fall. And Apostle Tahar always says that, man. All right. That uh certain scriptures, all right, is a is a, is a stumbling block to uh, some of these people, man. That's why when they when they first brought out the uh the uh the rape thing, man, hey, it was a whole whole big thing, man. And the apostle knew, all right, people was going was going to stumble at it, man. All right, but look, if you part of, part of the elect, it won't be a stumbling block to you, all right. You you're gonna you're gonna uh, you're gonna understand, all right, that uh the. That at the time we at the time we live in, all right, you can't do certain things, all right. But it's written in the scriptures, okay. Hey, per, per, perfect example, right? Uh, uh, if you if you if you got a woman, right? Let's say if 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 you live with your with your damn woman, right? You don't got another house to uh, kick this woman out, all right? When she on a cycle, all right. So certain things you just can't do, but we do it to the best of our ability. And guess what? That don't mean you don't teach it. All right. That don't mean you don't you don't teach it, man. You know, now, now the whole thing with the now I bet them guys, I bet I bet they I bet the, I bet them niggas don't don't undo that. You know, kick their wife out when she on a menstrual cycle. You see, so you hear it. So you see the, the damn hypocrisy of these of these dudes, man, because the scripture says um, if you're guilty of breaking um 
one law, you're guilty of breaking them all, man. See, but these be the same guys. The law, the law, the law. Right? Well, teach the law, man. Okay? And the, the scriptures, you know, uh, 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 well, there's certain laws written in there that, hey, you just can't keep, man. You know? But when something is uh, brought up, man, don't don't try to, uh, you know, uh, make your own doctrine or, uh, or, or, or uh, don't don't teach it, man. You know, that's wicked. It says, uh, go back to that definition. It says, which another may trip or fall. It says metaphorically to offend. All right. It says to which that kind of goes off right there. But you get the point, man. It's a stumbling block to these dudes, man. OK. Now let's go to uh, let's go to Luke real quick, you know. And then it's also matter of fact. Let's go to Acts. Let's go to Acts. All right, go to the book of Acts. Acts twenty and twenty seven. So this you dudes, man. Acts twenty and twenty seven. Uh, it says, "For I have not, for I have not shunned." To declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High. So you're supposed to be teaching everything that's in the scriptures, man. All right. Not, not. Look, if, if you if if you got a plate, right? You you you're about to eat dinner, right? Your your mother, right? She wants you to eat. She wants you to eat everything that's 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 on the plate, especially the vegetables, man. All right. You guys, you gonna you just gonna uh, uh, taste everything that uh that uh that uh tastes good to you. All right. The scripture says uh. Uh, in my mouth, but I'm gonna grab that too. You know, he said, uh, "In my mouth, it was it was sweet as sweet as honey." You see, but let's grab this. It says, "For I've not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of Yahweh." Man, let's check out that word "shun." Shunned. It says to draw back, uh, lower. It says to to withdraw of a timid person. Uh. To withdraw oneself, to be timid, it says to cover. That's what you're doing. You're covering the truth. It says shrink. All right. It says of those who the timidity hesitate, a vow what they believe. And that's what them guys are, are, are doing, man. All right. Basically uh, uh, tiptoeing around the truth, man. You know, it says uh, or basically being slick, man, you know. Cause look, if if you tiptoeing, tiptoeing, um, if you tiptoeing around this truth, you basically what being, being uh deceitful, you know, like the uh apostle Paul also said uh mis mis mishandling, all right, the word of, of the heavenly Father, you know. It says uh to be unwilling to utter from fear, you see, and that's you guys, all right, fear of what you might lose money, all right. You might lose your congregation. That's you guys. It says to shrink from declaring. It says uh, to conceal this symbol, man. All right, and that's you guys, man. Let's grab that. And uh, I think it's in Revelations, man. I think it's in the book of Revelations. Okay, that's Put that in. All right, you gotta eat the uh the bitter and the and the sweet, man. All right, I know what's going on. I never changed my thing when I was looking at that word. So Samakia. What the hell? That's fucking Satan. Bear with me. Okay. All right, listen to this. Revelations 10 and 10. It says, And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet. And that's these guys. They just want to eat the sweet, all right? Okay. It says, uh... And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly, it says my belly was bitter. All right. So look, you got it. It's to say you got to take the bitter with the sweet, man. All right. 
Yeah, it 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 uh, it uh, tastes good. It's good to know that you're Israelite, man. All right, that 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 uh that uh that uh that you're the chosen people, man. But there's certain things that need to be taught, man. Okay, perfect example the uh, the, the the chip. All right, the mark of the beast, right? That's a, some that's something else with these uh these other camps. I actually you know tiptoeing around, you know, not not teaching straight up. All right. Telling you you can you can take the chip out take the, man no man you know basically what you 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 you're ashamed you know you're not you're not being straight up about this truth man it says uh I'll leave off that I'm reading eleven two and he said unto me thou must prophesy again before many people and nations and tongues and kings all right. So when you go and prophesy, hey man, you got hey, that and so y'all y'all get y'all get mad at Great Bill Song when you say you got the hundred percent true, all right? But yet y'all tiptoeing around the scriptures, man. You see, that's you guys, man. You uh oh, you acting like uh Peter, all right? When you read the book of Acts, right? Apostle Paul, all right, he was dealing with the Gentiles, man, him and Peter. But when the other Jews came around, you know, Peter, 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 basically what he uh. He stepped away, man. You know, he withdrew himself, you know, from, from, from the Gentiles. And basically, Apostle Paul cussed him out about it. You know, when you go into, uh, when, you, when, when you go, when you go into, uh, you go into uh, Galatians, the uh, second chapter, you know. Now, let's go to uh, Luke real quick. Luke, 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 Luke. Hmm. All right, because remember that. Remember what y'all doing, man. All right, and don't think your house shy is actually pleased or happy with that. Luke nine and twenty six for says for whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, it says of him shall the son of man be ashamed. All right, so remember that if you you ashamed of the things that's written, man, he gonna be ashamed of you, man. You know. Hey, and you 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 probably won't receive salvation, man. See, and that's why y'all need to clean up your act, man. I finished the verse, and when he shall come in his own glory and in his fathers and in and in his fathers and of the holy angels. But I tell you the truth, there be some standing here which shall not taste death till they see the kingdom, all right? And if you want to see the see the kingdom, hey, you better need to you better teach right, man. You know, or teach what's being taught. Follow great millstone. I know it's a hard pill for, you know, for some of y'all to swallow. You know, especially you, Nate. You know, your proud ass. Uh, this is uh, Philippians, all right, 1 and 21. It says, according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed. You hear that? Paul said in nothing... I should be ashamed, man. Okay, so you shouldn't be ashamed. See, so you got examples in the scriptures, man. And I'm gonna bring back bring back up the book, the book of Galatians. All right, that's a perfect example, man. All right. Of 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 basically of of of, of what not to do, you know. That's a perfect example. It says, uh that in nothing I should be ashamed, but with all boldness, all right? And it says, uh, what does it say? It probably says the righteous is as bold as a lion. So if you consider yourself trying to be righteous, you're supposed to be bold, all right? Not not tiptoeing, all right, around the scriptures, man, all right? Or, or just, or just, or uh, teaching, teaching, uh, teaching for, uh, uh, to, to make people comfortable, all right. Not not basically you 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 you're trying to please people, you know. It says uh. But, but that with all boldness as always. So now also, Yahweh Shai shall be magnified in my body, whether it be life or by death. Right. That's hey. And that's what you're supposed to be doing, man. All right, magnifying your how was shy, man. All right. Well, I'm. 
let me switch that up. All right. If you're teaching the, if you're teaching the, 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 the right thing, he's going to magnify you, man. All right. That's, that's when the glory come in. All right. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to lift you up, man. Okay. Let's check out that word magnify. Now, this is, it says, cause, cause you guys, this is uh magnify. It says to, to deem, declare great, to esteem highly, extol, celebrate, right? And a lot of you guys, all right, especially you, you, I, you, I, 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 you, I see dudes, you pulling the, the garments and all that shit. No, man. If you teaching the right thing, you how shy, he's going to magnify you in that day, man. Okay. That's what, that's what, that's what we waiting for. Okay. Now let's hit one more scripture, right? Let's hit the book of Sirach. Then I'm going to close up. All right. This, this is Sirach, uh, 42 and eight. It says, be not ashamed to inform the unwise. All right. It, it, you can read that over again. Be not ashamed to inform the unwise and the foolish, man. All right. So you're not supposed to be, be ashamed, man. All right. Teach the things what's in the scriptures, man. All right. Stop, stop trimming your ways to uh, seek love. You know, it says, be not ashamed to inform, to inform the unwise and foolish and the extreme age that, that contendeth with those that are young. It says, and thus shall thou, and thus shall thou be truly learned and approved among all living, among, among all men living or what? Magnify it, lift it up. All right. But, but you're not supposed to be ashamed. That's the only way you're going to be lifted up. All right. All right. That's the only way, man. So lock you. That's the only way you're not going to be ashamed, man. OK. Hey, so uh, with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory to you. How about Shem? I was shy. Uh, Shem Rakadash. Double honors to the L's of GMS. Salutations. So I'm out there that's pushing this truth. Also, shalom to the rest of the whole for elect. Peace.